Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as the 585th Master of the Worshipful Company of the Pewters, I should like to offer you all a very warm welcome uh, to come here today to witness the prize giving for Pewter Live 2022, and most particularly to those open uh, and student entrants for the competition, uh, and Andrew Tanner, our guest of honour, uh, for agreeing to join us today at Pewter Live and to present the prizes. Now, rather interestingly, if you look around the room, we've got the name of every master since 1450, which is a lovely piece of history, I think, for, for all of us to uh, take in. The old craft liveries uh, were responsible for overseeing the training of young craftsmen, and today we take that seriously. Uh, today we help with this through our partnership with the colleges that teach metal work and design, and we are so proud of these links which have been built up with the colleges over time and prouder still that this year we have entries from 13 students and 15 design uh, for the open competition. So very good numbers on, on both scores there. Pewter Live is a significant part of the Pewter as Company's commitment to the craft and trade and to our desire to support contemporary pewter design. Uh, it's with some delight that I have uh, viewed the entries on the com in the competition, and, and I'm greatly encouraged by the very high standard, which I'm sure you'll all agree. It really is quite, quite incredible, both the design and production uh, of these finished <coughs> articles. Now, whilst we're pleased to be able to introduce our first ever online Pewter Live last year, the return to the hall is a significant event for us after two years, and, and it just reinforces the enormous pleasure given by the physical appearance of these pewter pieces uh, when they're viewed close up, and also the fact you can actually touch real things rather than just see photographs of them. So it's great to be back in the real world, as against the virtual one. Uh, in addition to the prizes for Pewter Live, open winner, student winner, and runner-up, and best in show, plus individual sponsor prizes, uh, we have a most welcome affiliation with the Victoria and Albert Museum, which is arguably the world's foremost museum of art and design. Now, a selection of pieces from uh, what you see today will now form the Pewter Live display at the VNA, which will go on show uh, from the 28th of May to the 31st of July. So you can all go along to VNA and, and see these special pieces. <laughs> Uh, this is a remarkable and extraordinary opportunity for these craftsmen who, whose work has been selected. I would urge you, therefore, to go along to this wonderful museum with your friends and family and really enjoy uh, what the Pewterers can produce. I should also like to give uh, very special thanks to Sarah Target here, who is chairman of the committee. Uh, Paul Wildash, where is Paul? Are you here, Paul? Paul, thank you, Paul, um, and our assistant clerk, Elisa franco Malek, uh, Mike, Mark Skerritz, Flo Grenier, and Angus Paston of the VNA, all of whom have given up so much time to help organize uh, Pewter Live through the committee. We are all most grateful to you. Thank you so much. Uh, the slightly... Uh, off beam here, but I'd like to um, just say a few words of dedication to Fabienne Loyens and Dirk Hamblock, uh, who have entered the open competition this year. Now, this is really quite a remarkable story. They live in Belgium, and they sent their entry across the UK uh, back in April, but the parcel got lost, and it couldn't be located for three weeks. Uh, there was a long search for it, and it was actually found uh, back at the, uh, the airport in Belgium having already been to the UK first. Astonishing. Um, so, this is probably one of the most traveled pieces of pewter in the world. Um, they, this is the, the extraordinary piece. They, they picked up um, their well-traveled artwork at the airport and then drove overnight to the UK so that they could bring the piece to the hall here on Monday. So, this is a, an amazing uh, piece of dedication to Pewter Live, and we're, we're very touched, we're very honored that you put so much effort into doing this. And um, so we'd like to thank you for your extraordinary commitment to the uh, competition, and we've awarded you a, a very special certificate for outstanding commitment and dedication <laughs> to Pewter Live.
I'm very um, pleased to welcome our guest of honour here today, Andrew Tanner. Andrew graduated in craft uh, specialising in ceramics at the University of Brighton. He's been an industry consultant, designer, mentor and author for the last 25 years, so he really is a, a considerable expert in his field. Um, he combines passion and empathy for original design, uh, both for retail use and others, uh, while exploring uh, the differences, um, the different crafts and managing uh, man manufacturing processes which are available now today in the futuring world, which perhaps weren't available 30, 40 years ago. In 2005, he was awarded the Young Designer of the Year, and in 2010, he was awarded the Young Entrepreneur in Design Award by the British Council. So considerable achievements, and um, it's a great honor to have you here, Andrew. Um, so, uh, Andrew, may I invite you um, to present the winners with their certificates at this, the 34th Pewter Live competition. And at this point, I'm actually going to hand, hand over to Sarah Target to uh, take, take the lectern for a little while. And um, so over to you, Ter. Thank you, Master. Would you please leave the notes behind? <laughs> <laughs> I might do. I might do. <laughs> that was a dodgy moment. I thought he was taking everything away with him. <laughs> um, so there are a, a couple of, of, of prizes to award now before we go on to the main competition prizes. Um, the first of those that is to be awarded is the um, City and Guilds. So welcome everybody today um, to the students, tutors, um, parents and the open contestants. Uh, the theme of this year's competition, you will have realised by now, is freedom. Uh, the entrants have been inspired to produce entries uh, that reflect a post-pandemic society sustainability, the power of nature, social justice and the environment. And I think those messages have come out from the pieces that you've seen. Um, I would like to congratulate all of those who've taken part in Pewter Live 2022 for the quality of their entries. It's been great fun being involved in it. Um, and I am delighted to present those winners of the individual awards. Um, the first award today is the City and Guilds Learner Prize. Uh, the City and Guilds is a Royal Chartered Institute um, and they offer qualifications and apprenticeships. They are a global leader in skills development, providing services to training providers, employers and trainees across a variety of sectors to meet the needs of today's workplace. So may I ask Michael Osbald, Destin. <laughs> Who is a special advisor on skills ambassador of City and Guilds to come on the stage to announce the winner, please. <laughs> I'll leave the notes, don't yeah. worry. I might trip up on the way up. Well, Master, uh, pewterers and supporters, what a wonderful occasion to be here in person yet again on a beautiful Sunday. If you want to book your holidays, book them during Pewter Live because the sun always shines during Pewter Live every year. It's wonderful. But uh, it's lovely to see everybody. It's lovely to be back. It's lovely to see the work. And as the Master said, moving from the, the, the virtual to the real, the real world has been a real treat. So thank you for hosting this amazing event once again. And, and, and best wishes to everybody from City and Guilds to makers of all different sorts and sizes and to people who use their hands and their fingers to translate their thoughts into practical application so congratulations to everybody who's got work on display today because it really is a treat to see and of course it's great to see what's happening downstairs in the commercial world i bought several new pairs of cufflinks the other night and i'm wearing <laughs> none of them because this shirt doesn't have cufflinks but there we are <laughs> you can't win them all can you really so great treat to be back and thank you very much for the invitation to be here so the city and guilds learner prize 2022 is awarded to a student whose unusual technique reflects the idea of freedom, both in her use of the metal, but also in her choice of subject. Her woven pewter creates a fascinating lightness and transparency, and the open weave liberates the constraint of the bowl shape and allows it to be accessed from both within and outside its formal parameters. So, the City and Guilds of Learner Prize for 2022 goes to Amanda Pattenden for her work entwinement. Well done. Thank you. 
I've left the note. Thank you very much. I'll, I won't go with the surname again. <laughs> um, moving on to the next one then. Um, this is for the Target Award. Um, I won't bore you for long. My father was a pewter manufacturer. His company had started out making um, casting machines for pewter, and he realised that he could make things better than his customers did. So for many years, ran um, a, a pewter company. I was involved in that to a certain extent, which is where my love of pewter has come from. Now no longer with us, um, my sisters Nicole and Bethan and I... Ooh, that's quite a good noise. Not us. <laughs> It's not going well, is it? It's not going well. Um, so we are delighted to maintain our um, links to this fantastic competition. Um, and we have had a good look at all of the pieces. It is for a student um, entrant, um, because that was my father's passion, was to develop contemporary pewter and encourage people to experiment in pewter. Um, so we have decided that we are going to go for a very experimental piece. Um, and our prize this year goes to um, Alice Lawson for the Tree of Life body sculpture. Well done. <laughs> Patricia Niche um, would love to have been here today. Um, she is still living in Barcelona. Her and her late husband, Alex Niche, have been enormous supporters of this company and true passionate collectors of pewter over very many years. Um, the majority of their collection is now housed in the Stirling Museum up in Scotland, so if you're ever on your travels and want to look at some fantastic pewter, go up there. As Patricia couldn't join us today, she has asked me to present the prize on her behalf. And, ta-da, um, the Niche Memorial Award goes to Judith Godden for the piece Freedom Making Waves. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sarah, for uh, presenting the individual awards. It's now time to announce a winner, winners of both um, the student and open competition. Selected by the Pewter Live judges, Rosemary Wildash, Angus Patterson, and Richard Abdi. The judges come from uh, various backgrounds, and they all have a great knowledge of pewter with additional experience uh, in retail and design. Rosemary uh, has had a long interest in all aspects of design, and she qualified in jewellery and uh, silversmithing uh, a few years ago. Angus Patterson is the senior curator of metalwork at the Victoria and Albert Museum, where he is also uh, responsible for the European metalwork and arms and armour collection, so quite a, an important and big job. Richard Abdi is a director of Wentworth Pewter, his family's company, uh, which he has inv been involved with since childhood, um, which I suppose means that he was uh, born with a, a pewter spoon in his mouth. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, the judging panel has looked uh, for a new slant on traditional items as part of this year's competition, uh, and the competition's purpose is to encourage innovation of design. It is also uh, considered commercial potential as well, uh, both as a one-off piece and also for products adaptable 
uh, to larger scale manufacture. So, I am uh, delighted to present the winners of first prize and runner-up of the student competition. The student competition runner-up goes to Catherine Kay. And this is for Catherine's The Heart's Tongue Fern Dessert Spoon, which I absolutely adored. Now, the student competition first place goes to Mia Vilchins for the piece Caged Bird Sings of Freedom. So, congratulations, Mia. So congratulations to Mia and Catherine. Uh, we're now ready to present the, winner, uh, the winners of the Open Competition. The first place prize and best in show will also receive the Pewterers Award sponsored by Rosemary and Paul Wildash. The Open Competition first place goes to hmm, Judith Godden. Freedom, making waves. <laughs> So, finally, the Best in Show and the Pewter's Award goes to Richard Reeve for the entry Nature's Wish. So uh, congratulations to the winners of both categories and thank you all for coming. Uh, Andrew, uh, I'm pleased to present you with a gift on behalf of the company, which has been designed by none other than Fleur Grenier. Oh my gosh. Here it is. <laughs> So uh, before I declare the ceremony closed uh, and we enjoy a delicious lunch, I would like to make an announcement. That, um, this company will celebrate 
its 550th anniversary in early 2024. And as part of our celebrations, we're, we wish to uh, commission an exclusive piece of pewter that will enhance our collection and serve as a memento uh, of our anniversary here on. The brief, brief is this, to design a piece that evokes 550 years. Now, we wish to celebrate pewter as a metal, showcase its qualities, and invest in innovative design. This week, we have seen some really excellent uh, pieces of craft and design, and our celebratory piece will reflect this. The competition brief is very wide, as we want our designers to be able to express a representation of pewter in 23-24 that reflects our history and also looks forward to our next 550 years. So we're seeking to appeal to all current and future members of the company with this work and also consumers of all ages and tastes. The judges would also like to choose a piece capable of being reproduced as copies and scale models to be sold to the company members and given as gifts to company guests so that the 550th um, can be rooted in our memories. The winning piece will be presented to the company in August 2023 at the beginning of our anniversary year. Now, the important bit. We will be opening the competition next Monday, the 23rd of May, with more details on our website and through communication to those of you who have uh, participated in Computer uh, Live uh, this year. The closing date for entries will be at the end of this August, and we will shortlist through September 2022. So I hope many of you here today will be interested in, uh, in entering this competition to enhance the Hall and Company's collection, and also to provide a great statement about the Worshipful Company of Putras 550 years after our charter was first signed. Thank you. Uh, we're very grateful for all the hard work that has gone into making these uh, last three days so wonderful and it's just lovely to be back in the hall with you all celebrating a good time. Thank you so much for coming and we'll see you next year at Pewter 23.